guys and dolls how is it hanging so I'm here for your weekly checkup and for some reason the energies are just a lot of little personal messages whatever resonates with you just this there's there doesn't seem to be this like full flowing story like the love readings or career readings what have you but it's a lot of like little messages so they're very specific to like the listener or the viewer that's what I had for the air signs and the, and the water signs so let's start with Taurus see what comes up and usually if I ramble it has something to do with the reading <laughs> I don't know the tower King of Pentacles three of Pentacles three of Pentacles has been in every reading There's something under, like, there's something that's either being hidden or under lock and key or in a locker or something like padlocked. So I don't know if it's a secret or, but it's something about a locker, padlock. Um, diary, what have you. Or like locked lips. So I have the, so far I have the Tower, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. Lips sink ships. Sun reverse. So some tr sort of truth came to light. Uh, that this came out right after I said loose lips sink ships, and a secret was revealed. A truth was revealed. It's not really a secret anymore. But it's allowed you to see, or this person to see more clearly. And it's created a tower moment. So somebody has to start from scratch in planting seeds. I, I hope these aren't seeds of doubt. Somebody's planting seeds. Whatever that means to somebody. It could be all seeing the cards. It could be like seeds like children planting seeds. <laughs> or it could be um Trying to start anew, something growing again, starting to grow, or seeds of doubt is some sort of seed, whatever that means to the person. Ace of Pentacles in the upright. So you have two aces upright, which, although the sun is reverse, it's like that new, the tower moment, though maybe unpleasant. is how it was kind of supposed to be. It's it's like cleaning everything and it's starting it's starting anew and growing. I 
I'm seeing like caterpillar type of growth. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Reverse. The Lovers on the uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Sun. Page of Wands. So somebody could have had like a one night stand, an affair, just a one night thing. It could be um, a twin frame flame relationship that was disrupted. Or some sort of karmic relationship that kind of threatened this other relationship. But there's also this key and lock. So this bride, reverse, the high priestess reverse, nine, six of wands. So whatever happens, everything is going to right itself. Um, the split deck, we have the seven of pentacles reverse the High Priestess reverse, and then the Six of Wands in the upright. So it feels like that kind of transition where it's like things are out of your control, but they need to be righted. And with time and growth and help from others on your path, you'll be able to drop these burdens. Ten of Wands. Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Wands. See, there's this, these three here. King of Wands reverse, Queen of Cups. So there's like a three. But the bride is sitting on top of the world. So through fem feminine energy, things will right themselves. And if you decide to leave this, you will have at least two other suitors. Maybe two to choose from. Ten of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. So that's your card. Does that make sense? So as it sits right now, we're work you're working through these other energies. So you could be the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Cups. But to receive your Ten of Cups and become the Queen of Pentacles, things need to be righted. Cool. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there, Taurus.
Virgo. Let's see how Virgo's feeling this week. Three of Swords in reverse. Six of Wands, Six of Swords upright, so emotionally leaving this hurtful situation. Or you're going in to rescue somebody in a hurtful situation. Three of Swords twice. So you and somebody else might be leaving together. Or are you going to rescue them? Or somebody's coming to rescue you. <laughs> it can go either way. Like any of these readings really, right? Three of Wands. So you're waiting for your ships to come in. So somebody is rescuing another and the other person's waiting for that person or their ships to come in. Two of Cups. There you are. Together. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Need I say more? And on the bottom of the deck we have Page of Pentacles. That slow pentacle offer. You guys are really hot for each other. <laughs> I have the devil here, but it's not in a bad sense. You might be just really into each other. And the bottom, we have the magician. So you're able to manifest together. This is a nice Valentine's Day reading. I really like this. I don't want to read it anymore. I think it's... There's a lot of, like, give and take and a lot of like affection and a lot of like heat. Uh, it might be a fire sign you're dealing with. I think I'm gonna leave that there. That's really short, but I mean, I I almost pu I pulled out. We have threes and twos in here. Six, two sixes. I think it's really good. Six of cups, soulmate, relationship on the bottom here. And then the hermit, your card with the empress. So there's your empress, another three. <laughs> feel like the magician myself pulling these cards. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that there. I love this reading. I really do. It's nice. Good for you, Virgo. Hope I meet a Virgo. <laughs> okay. And Capricorn. Saving the best for last, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I can beat that Virgo reading. <laughs> really good feels on the Virgo reading. Capricorn. Strength, Knight of Cups. So 
Somebody likes to play dress up. Hero font. The Nine of Pentacles. So I kind of get the feeling like somebody wants to Somebody is very independent, but has very strong morals. I, how, how am I going to explain this? Somebody's very independent and kind of wants things to work out one way. But it's like they're fighting with themselves with what they want. Because they've been so independent that they want things one specific way. One way they're familiar with and always known, but that's not necessarily what works for them. So it's like a fight with themselves or with other people. So either somebody's trying to offer you something that's kind of different than you're used to being offered and you don't know how to take that, or you expect things certain way and because they're not being presented to you that way you're fighting with yourself if you should take it or not and somebody likes to speak to like people that have passed like their family members they still speak to them they're still there they're still here. But this is coming in, like Eight of Swords, this is coming in. Eight of Swords, you don't know which way to go. You're fighting with yourself. So you're looking to the above. And maybe that's why you're listening to this. Let's see more about the hero fonts. This could be to do with work. Maybe work is something different. Lovers. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's about love. This seems really good and feels really good. It's just you're so different. It's not what you're used to, so you don't know what to do with it. So they feel like they're always fighting with you, or you feel like you're always fighting with yourself. Clarify the lovers, two of wands, yeah. You have to, you don't, you can have it all, but you don't know what to do with it. Seeing birds remind somebody of something and makes them really happy. I saw a red tail hawk today. I've never seen one around here. It was really cool. Really cool. Somebody really likes somebody's smile. If you have a decision between two people, it's that smile, though. Strength and Knight of Cups. Seven of Cups, the full reverse, right? You don't know where to start. Temperance. And the Three of Wands. So, you will make a decision. And that I think that will clear a lot for you.
And this person might be like the father or mother of your children. Because we're moving to the two to the three after this balancing occurs. Ace of Cups, Seven of Swords, Two of Swords, right? The Choice, the Moon, Ten of Wands, dropping your burdens. So this will happen. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands. It's like, it's like one of those like choose your own adventure stories. I don't think you can really go wrong. You just have to make a choice. I think I'm going to leave that there, Capricorn. Soulmate. <laughs> My information's below if you want to work with me. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I will see you for the career readings and the weekly checkups for next week. This was more of a flowy story reading compared to uh, the water signs. It was just like little tiny messages. But yeah, see you guys and dolls. Take care. Love ya.